Hey guys, it's Drizze. I'm ready to show you my new favorite way to make gold in World of Warcraft. This is a passive way to make gold. This does not interfere with doing any sort of farming, any sort of merchanting, any sort of anything else. You can do this in the back burner, just throw it aside, let it make gold for you. For the people that already know what I'm talking about, you should know by now that it's through guilds. Other people that are still confused are like, what do you mean through guilds? As everyone should know, I think back in Cataclysm, uh, Blizzard released it so you can make like passive money through guilds. Yes, it's not much, but it's enough that people want to buy guilds. And guilds can sell for a decent amount. Yes, maybe before they took off the XP cap, it was at like 200k a guild. Now it's maybe about anywhere from 80,000 to 150,000, depending on how many achievements your guild has, and so forth. The thing I'm talking about is the guild perks. The one in general is cash flow. Cash flow level 16, not cash flow, I think level 5. Level 5 cash flow is just 5%. And level 16 cash flow is 10%. And what this 10% is, is 10% extra money is generated and deposited directly into your guild bank w during looted items, like looted gold from monsters. People think 10% is not a lot, but when you have about 900 people in your guild, on average, well, right now it's early in the morning, only 30, but that's still good. On peak times during a day, I have anywhere from 80 to 120 people online. And that generates pretty damn quick. The extra perk at having a level 25 guild is your um, guild challenges. When there's no more XP to get, be gained, you get gold instead for like finishing a challenge. So here you can do 7 dungeon challenges a week. What a dungeon challenge takes is at least three out of the five people have to be from your guild. And when you have a completed dungeon with three out of five people in the dungeon, you get a dungeon challenge done. You can do seven of those. That's 1,750 gold a week. So far, I have not done, I have not organized any groups. This is people in the guild interacting with each other and getting stuff done. So they've done already four out of seven, and it's only Friday. So there's plenty of days left for the gold to generate through the guild bank. I'm going to show you the money log just to show you some of my weeks. Usually I just have this guild sitting there, so a lot of people get inactive quick. So there's not many people on most of the time. So the first couple of weeks here, I'll start like, a, it only goes to a month ago. I still have guild repairs on for certain people. Like not certain, not like specific people, but people that have acquired enough ranking in the guild that they deserve it. And it gives people in your guild an incentive to actually be active in the guild. So here's a couple weeks. It says right here in cash flow. Uh, a month ago, made about 2,879. No one did the guild challenges that week. Week after that, 3,000. There was more people in the guild. No one did the guild challenges still. The week after that, 1,800. This is when the guild completely died down. Next week after, or next week after that, it's 2,200. And then I started recruiting again. So only 10 days ago, 5,700. Three days ago, 6,100. Both those weeks, the guild challenges were done for the dungeons only. Not many people do scenarios right now. Until patch 5.2, that's when everyone's going to be crushing scenarios. So, for this guild in general, this is just one of my alts. And that's what I run it on. People are going to be like, why do you do that? Aren't you just using these people? In a sense, yes. In a sense, no. Because I'm making this guild a guild still. Like It's not just somewhere where no one talks... Well, right now, because most likely everyone's sleeping, no one's really talking. It's a guild where people still interact. There's still events going on. Yes, maybe it's not a raiding guild, but it's more of a community guild, a leveling guild. A group of people that are just there to have fun. So I have sometimes weekly or monthly raffles and lotteries. The lotteries can generate more gold for the guild. And I sometimes have weekend repairs and so forth. A good thing to have in your guild so it stays active is a ranking system. I have a short and sweet one here, so I have, they call them dedicated 1, 2, 3, and full member. So to become a full member, it takes a really long time. It's 80 million guild experience. And for people that know what guild experience is, that comes through doing quests and overall generating, like doing uh, group dungeons together and so forth. 
you get guild experience it ranks you up I have an add-on that can rank up people quick so it's called super guild promoter or not super guild something promoter I'll link them at the end so I just do it here you do SP SGP show guild promoter it finds if anyone needs to get ranked up you set in the criteria in here rank settings so it's 35,000 for dedicated 2, you need at least exalted, exalted for uh, dedicated 1, and so forth. And when they get full member, member it's 80,000 and exalted, or 80 million exalted, sorry. So it makes them, gives them an incentive to do it, if they don't do it, they don't do it. And people are going to ask, how do you get so many people in your guild? How do you get 914? Well guess what, a lot of those can be inactive. I have another add-on. There's three main add-ons here. I'm going to link them all at the end. And this one's called Super Guild Remover. Or Super Guild Remove. You have filters you can set up. You want your level 1 to 10. They can be kicked out after 5 days of inactivity. 20 days inactivity and plus. That kicks out anyone and everyone from the guild that's been inactive for that many days. Levels 1 to 85. 10 days inactive. And then 1 to 70. I think I had it at maybe 5 days inactive because I switched up. And I did another one, one to three, because I was too lazy, or one to ten, three days inactive. I too lazy to make a, like a refresh them all, so I just kind of make new ones and add them on. The thing is, though, when you create one, I'll create one right now. If I were to create one, so you know what I'm talking about. Move some of this shit out of the way. Uh, you cannot like if like you don't want to kick out your really active guys. Maybe someone went on vacation, so one to eighty-five, ten days inactive. Maybe they're on vacation. You don't know. So I think for that one I have checked off for only newcomers and dedicated one. Dedicated one's really simple to get and newcomers what you get in as. Anything above that, you don't check them off, means they're pretty much exempted from this thing. So let's see if I have anyone that has been inactive for that time. You click find bad guildies. Yes, there's been eight. It will tell you right here all the people. So it's like a level thirty two paladin, ten days, thirty two shaman, ten days, ten days, ten days, ten days, ten days, level ten, three days, level one, three days. So you click remove, yes, kicks all the people. You should warm your guildies sometimes. Some people freak out and are like, Oh my god, what's happening? And end of the world, oh my god. You just warn them, move on, and that's it. So that's one way. This is a passive way of making money through a guild. Yes, this one's not that much. But six thousand a week for doing nothing? Why not? And that's without ha having like a guild lottery or something. A guild lottery can generate a lot of gold for the guild, as long as you get everyone trustworthy. The first couple go through, people are gonna think it's a scam. After a while, everyone understands what's happening, and they like doing it. And that's one way. Like I said at the start of the video, you can make money just selling guilds. There is a market for selling guilds. And depending on how many achievements there is done in the guild, the more it's worth. I've sold already three guilds, all at a quick sale of 80,000 gold. And that's, I got that guild from 1 to 25 in about a month to a less than a month. And I'm going to show you that current guild that I'm working on. Yes, it's on a level 1. Sometimes I just AFK it. I have an auto-clicker clicking the invite button on another ad I'm about to show you. And it's pretty simple. The first five levels is pretty tough to get people into it. And depending on your server, takes longer and so forth. And you just you got to suck it up. If you want to get it done and get it done, you do it during times you're not playing. Don't do it during times where you could be playing and making more money. Yes, this won't make more money than a regular way. But in the long run, it will make you a lot of money. If you stack up guilds, like I was thinking about having four or five guilds. I'll have them about 50 people online each day. And they all generate about 5,000 gold a week. Four or five guilds. Four guilds is 20,000 a week. Five guilds is 25,000 a week. So on, so forth, depending on how much guild makes. More, and a lot of that stuff, yeah. So this guild, I got it up to level 21 already. It's about maybe a fourth of the way, or a quarter of the way left to get to 22. When this guild gets to 25, I plan on just selling it. I can sell it easily for 80,000, especially when you get like a little bit of vouches on the forms you can sell them quick if you're some uh, servers they're worth more but since my server Melganis is a high populated server they sell pretty quick there's nothing really else to show you guild wise you can see that I have one leveling uh, a lot of people are inactive on this guild 
and you can easily kick them all out when you're about to sell a guild or you can tell them to transfer over if you have another certain thing I tell some of my people I have another this is more of like a sister guild if you want to go over go over but the main add-on used to do all this badass stuff is super guild invite a lot of people know this add-on a lot of people hate it a lot of people love it what you can do with this is you can enable whispers so when you what it does pretty much overall you put the level limit 1 to 80 is what I have it at click super scan it will start scanning the whole game whoever's online right now will see if it has a, in a guild or not if not it will pop up invite click invite it will send out since I have a whisper set up it's gonna send the whisper it's gonna invite the person if they want to join they want to join this one they join level 2 the thing I like about level 1 to 10s when they join they generate the most experience because per quest, when someone returns a quest, they get 60,000 experience. 60,000 experience when you need 49.7 million to get a level. Might not seem like a lot, but when you get 10 level 1s, they're all doing it. That's 6 million experience in pff, only a couple 10 to 20 minutes. After each quest, it goes up pretty damn quick. So that's pretty, what, pretty much what you do. I have an auto clicker. Start it up, click in, clicking, clicking. As you can see, this account has seven, 14 days played on it. But I've used it for other guilds as well. Some people say, oh, that's botting. Drizay, what are you talking about? You shouldn't do that's botting. But I'm not doing anything to farm anything. I'm not taking anything anyway, like away from anyone else. I'm just inviting people. It benefits them. The reason they want to join is there's another guild perk for being in a guild that's a little bit higher level. I don't think you need that much of a high level to get it either. It's only... I don't even know what the hell it's called. Here we are. Fast track. Level 6. What that does is experience gain from killing monsters and completing quests increased by 10%. That's the main thing that make people join. Right here, this guild's called Vicarious. Fun and friendly guild that to quests, dungeons, and much more. By joining us, you'll receive a 10% bonus leveling experience. Can't wait to have you join. Something fun and friendly. They'll join. That guy joined. A lot of people else joined. Oh, here generated 60,000 guild experience. And you're laughing. When it's level 80,000, or when it's level 25, you can sell it for as low as 80,000. Maybe a little bit less depending on your server. You just gotta see where the going rate is. Second, you sell your guild. You got 80,000 gold in the bank. Or you can just use it to generate. Set up events. Make it fun. Don't make it a job. Make it fun. Anyways, guys, that's one way of making some solid amount of gold in World of Warcraft. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. In the description, you'll have the three main add-ons I use. Super Guild Invite, Super Guild Promoter, or Guild Promoter, or Swin's Guild Promoter, sorry. And Super Guild Kicker, or Super Guild Remove.